Hi and welcome to my place. I'd like to introduce you to Jody Allaire. Jody is biologist and educator with Bird Studies Canada. Hi Jody and welcome to my place. Hey Mark. Thanks You're going to help me. me out here. Well, I've got 40 nesting boxes on the property in my 10 acre garden and I've attempted for over 10 years to attract bluebirds. No luck. What's my problem? Well, well it could be just a bit of bad luck. In a way, I <laughs> yeah. think, uh, and that's this is the way it goes. You know, when right. people are trying to attract birds in the yard, I always tell people you, you make the most of what you've got on your property. I like and, that. And you've got a fantastic property with lots of new growth and weedy fields and shrubs. Uh, really great habitat for for many birds, and maybe not ideal for bluebirds in this little section. But you've got you've had great success with tree swallows, right? Uh, I would say 60% of my boxes have tree swallows in them in the spring. They arrive in April almost mm -hmm. on the same day. Actually, it was the anniversary of the Vimy battle, the Battle of Vimy on the, I think that was the 9th of, of April. And they all showed up on the same day and they'll all leave on the same day as well. So inside we have a tree swallow nest. And Jody, what do we do with this? When do we clean it out and how do we clean it out? Yeah, right. So it, it's pretty obvious this is a tree swallow. It's got lots of grass and it's got a few feathers. They like lining their nest with, with white feathers. So that's a good key that you've got tree swallows nesting mm -hmm. on your in your property. And uh, what I do is, uh, you know, I sort of leave them alone during the nesting season. As you get into the end of August, uh, and you know they've they've left and they're not nesting, then you can then you can clean them out. Um, and in fact, in some cases, you can even take the box down for the for the winter if you want. Okay. Uh, something I do at my place. All right. But in terms of cleaning them out, um, you all, clean it out. all you really need to do is just make sure you get everything oh, out of there. That. Look yeah. at that! It's like a sandwich. Yeah. It's like one of those Dairy Queen ice cream sandwiches. I yeah. love it. And it's, I just want to I want to point out too. You can tell this is successful because it's got lots of bird droppings right along the edge. So that's a sign that the chicks have actually fledged successfully out of really? the nest and the chicks will actually poop in the nest before they go and uh, and birds are actually very clean with their poop nests. in the they're, nest yeah. is a good idea so one <laughs> other thing I've got my own um, pine birdhouse here but I say birdhouse it's a nesting box and the features of a good quality nesting box would be what Jody something that you can clearly open right that you can open to uh, come here there we go go like that it's got ventilation, is that important? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a few features. You know, one, you know, sorry, getting the right size hole for the birds, you know, and this type of hole, there's a generic kind of bluebird tree swallow hole size, which works great for multiple species and house wrens and, and chickadees. Having a box, you know, made of sort of plain wood, uh, having lots of, uh, having some breathability, especially in warmer areas. So having air holes and drainage on the bottom mm -hmm. is, is very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, you know, keeping it clean. End of the season, cleaning it out. And what I would do, I would sort of, you know, clean this right out. I wouldn't necessarily uh, put any kind of chemical cleaner in there, but clean it right out. And uh, and then you could even plug it up for the for the winter months and just keep things from getting in there. And you can unplug it first thing in the season when, you're, when your tree swallows or bluebirds or, or chickadees, you know, start getting into the nesting season. You can you can open it up again, but uh, but yeah, all very basic features, and and I think one of the big things with these is having ha having habitat, you know, creating a nice bird friendly yard for them with lots of trees, lots of grass, and uh, and that should work. Jody Allaire, he's the educator biologist for Bird Studies Canada, and he says do the best with what you've got. I think that's like a great lesson for life. Thanks so go. much, Jody. <laughs> Thanks, Mark.